Hi everybody, it's me. I'm back and guess what? I got a Dollar Tree haul and a Dollar General haul. And I probably should be sitting different because the light's coming in over there, but oh well, here we go. All right, been a while since I've been to the Dollar Tree. Oh, now the cat's gonna start brushing up against the tripod. All right, nothing really interesting. I got this for Brody so he can tear it up all over the floor. I thought maybe he'd have fun with that with the baby. And um, let's see. Oh, and I got this. I haven't really been watching Dollar Tree hauls because it makes me want to go shop and spend money that I don't have. Anyway, I found this. Have a beautiful time. But what I, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to do something different. It's a kind of like shadow box thing. So I'm going to try to think of something different to do with it. Because it's kind of, you know, got the room in between it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something with it one of these days. I don't know when. Okay. And I have a lamp that hangs in the wherever you want to hang it. I was going to hang it in the hallway, and it fell. And um, the it's made out of like the frame part of it is I used to have it hanging in the basement anyway and um I hung it up in the hallway and it fell while I was gone it's like a plaster Paris base and then it has the candles with the little um tiny uh lamp shades so anyway it doesn't work so I thought maybe the bulbs might have blown when it fell so I don't know what kind of bulbs it gets so I got these I don't know maybe wasted two dollars I don't know who knows oh and I bought this I haven't seen these there before. I'm, if it works, I might take it to work with me. Put it in my purse. And then I ran across this, which I didn't even look inside of it. But I love these um, Spot the Difference. There's supposed to be 19 puzzles in here. And I like to do that. So, I got that. And then, let's see what's in the other bag. I've got to fix that for Brody. Let's see here. Oh, I got this for Lisa and I. I had one before and I gave it to Mandy, I believe. Took it to Mandy's house, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I don't have it anymore. They come in very handy when you chop something up. Helps you to scrape it. So I got Lisa one. Um, cat, don't do that. But anyway, it's got the little measuring thing at the bottom if you want to measure whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not measuring nothing. Quit, um, Marco. And then I bought some more of the um, aluminum foil sheets. I like to use these when I make my individual pizzas in my toaster oven. Quit. Go somewhere else. And then I'm going to make me... Oh, okay. I got these, which I had an idea of... Um, Getting a curtain rod and hanging, um, you know, my half moon window in the kitchen. There's room on each side of it and underneath it. And I thought, well, my coffee maker is sitting um, on the side of it anyway, um, on the counter. And I thought, well, I am going to get some a curtain rod and hang up there and get me some S hooks and hang up my coffee mugs because I only have the one. Well, I have cabinets but not I've got three cabinets and then I've got the closet shelf well anyway I ran across these and I thought these would be perfect to um hang up there I might paint them I don't know I'm not sure I might leave them white I'm not sure I still haven't even painted the wall in there but anyway uh my baseboards and everything's white so I don't know I might leave it white and then um they were making the um spice racks or whatever out of the uh cooling rack um but i bought something and i don't remember where i saw it it was on clearance but anyway it's kind of like the um baker's rack cooling rack but anyway i found these at the i've been looking for these at the dollar tree and i thought i could hang my spices these are the two i bought two small ones and then I bought two um, bigger ones. They were separate, unfortunately. They didn't come as two. But anyway, I thought I could make something, you know, to hang on my wall for some storage. Since I don't have, you know, much storage. Oh, and I needed this. 
and I saw one at the Dollar General, and it was $3, and I got lucky and found one at the Dollar Tree, so thank you, Dollar Tree, and it's a Betty Crocker pizza cutter, so I was glad to find that, because I do eat a lot of pizza, and I need some coffee, mate, but it was like five seventy five dollars at the Dollar General, and I wasn't spending that, so I picked up a small container at the Dollar Tree. Let's see, and that's my mail. Okay, so that's all the Dollar Tree stuff that I got. Then I went to the, I went to the Dollar General first, bought me some snacks. Um, I got these for a dollar. You know, they have the dollar area, and these are the Clover Valley Ranch, uh, naturally and artificially flavored tortilla chips, and they're the ranch. So I got those. I'm going to try those out. And I love these, and I just sit eat these like popcorn. These are a dollar a bag. I got two of those. And um, I got some pepperonis, but these are the big ones, so I'll have to cut them to add to my pizza. To I like to doctor up my pizza, which I don't have any um, mozzarella cheese. I'm going to have to buy that. Um, and then I, I'm a sucker for marshmallow candy, so I got two marshmallow hearts for 50 cents. And then also in the dollar aisle, I found this, and I'm hoping it smells good, but they only had the one can, and the lid was cracked, so she gave me 50 cents off. I didn't need the lid. Why give me? But hey, it was a dollar. It's called Wizard, the Magic of Freshness, and it's freshly picked lavender. I've got like three cans underneath my sink that I tried that I got at Dollar General, um, the two for five dollars. And I do not, I like the scent in the store, but when I got them home and I, they were spraying, I didn't like the scent. So hopefully, well, that's not too bad. It's not as bad as some of that stuff I've got that I put under the sink, which I probably just should have thrown it away because I don't know anybody that has those Mr. Airwick things. But anyway, so I'm going to try this out. And it was only a dollar, so... And at my normal, this was a different one. I went and got my hair cut. David didn't fix it scrunchy. He blew dry it and put some product in it. And um, But I, you know, have been wearing it scrunched and curly. So, anyway, I'll have to redo my hair. But I went and got my hair cut. But I was out in Burlington where he works. And um, that's all my haul. But uh, I went and got my hair cut. And... Um, Spent a little bit of time with him, and that was nice. It's always nice when I can spend time with my kids. Mandy, it's always nice when she comes up to visit as well. So, that was my Dollar Tree haul and my Dollar General haul. But anyway, I haven't been on here in a while. And I'm wondering how everybody's doing. Um, I've been... It got really cold here. Um, and I keep dragging my TV back and forth. Um, I was staying in my room because it was like 16 degrees outside. So it was like 50 and so in here. Um, my radiator oil looking like heaters that I got at Walmart. Um, hi Brody. They're not working very well. So, um, I, uh, have put the well one of them to rest um the other one's still on in the kitchen and in the hall well it's kind of in the hallway in the kitchen area um a little bit oh this thing like is gonna make such a mess this little puppy dog that i got for him here you want your baby hmm? the baby huh yeah um so anyway that cat says, oh, you're always getting him stuff. Well, she doesn't play with anything. She eats treats. That's about it. And she stays to herself. So, anyway. And once again, I changed the subject. But anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I have been staying in my bedroom. So, that's that. Um, I've been working. I didn't work yesterday because I had an incident with my electric the night before everything went off. And it was the um, main box outside that you hooked to. Um, I don't know what happened. But anyway, I heard a big click or clunk. You know how if you have circuit breakers, you know how they click when they, you know, go off. Well, this was much more than that. So um, I went outside and flipped it around and 
came back in and I still didn't have anything. And gosh, it got down to 42 in here. I was freezing. I was under the covers. Brody was underneath the covers, literally under the covers, which he doesn't hard, he doesn't always do that very seldom. But when he gets cold, he does. Um, let's see, what else? Anything else interesting going on? I watched this girl on YouTube, and I'm on my phone filming, so I can't look it up. Abby something. I'll have to try to remember and see if I can find her name. Anyway, she used to work for Starbucks, and she has done a few videos of just maybe look up um, Starbucks drinks. She, and you might be able to find her, her first name is Abby. Um, and she gives a lot of... Um, ways recipes like how you can make your own starbucks at home and um so that's nice i watched that a couple a couple of her videos um she worked for starbucks and she got fired because she did she has a youtube channel and she said something about um one of the coffees tasted like ass or something i don't know what it was but uh so anyway they somebody that she works with, she didn't talk about it at work, that she had a YouTube channel, but um, some of her co-workers found out, and it got around, and apparently somebody, a manager or something, um, watched the video, and uh, some of her videos, and they fired her. So, okay, whatever. So, I'm not saying anything about the place I work. Um, I'm not even supposed to mention the place that I work, so I really haven't in a long time. Um, but I do prep food for a restaurant. Um, it's a very easy job. Pretty easy. I mean, it's easy. Um, but it can be stressful, too, because, um, you know, not everybody does their job, and uh, and you have to deal with, you know, drama, you know. I'm mainly by myself, uh, but there's a couple of the cooks that um, I don't get along with. Um, they have no respect for people, uh, so I don't get along with them very well. They're young, you know, um, and that how you know how that goes. So anyway, uh, let's see. Anything else? Um, nothing else really that's just about it i just been hanging out and being lazy um i did come in and straighten out my living room straighten it up some yesterday i've got to dust my table over there and my window sills um and i've got to clean this table off over here i swear i'm the worst person with tables i've always got all kinds of junk sitting next to me i cleaned it off and there i didn't need to wipe it off um because i get ashes and stuff on it uh but, you know, I, it's just me. Um, I used to be have a lot of nervous energy, but um, really the only person that comes here is Lisa, who has OCD, and how she stays here, comes and sits here, is beyond me, because <laughs> she is, like, really super OCD about stuff at her house. So I asked her one day, I said, um, do you have difficulties, you know, sitting here? because of the way that I don't do things. Um, I have dirty dishes in my sink right now. Um, I have a couple of pieces of dirty clothes on my floor in my bathroom. That's kind of like where I throw them uh, and because my washer's right there. Um, I don't have room in my bathroom for a clothes hamper. Um, so I just, I don't know. I've got clothes hampers and I've got clothes baskets that are usually full of other stuff other than uh, dirty clothes or clean clothes. I can't open my dryer and take my clothes out and put them in the clothes basket because um, it's always got something in it that doesn't, you know, they're always full. Um, I need to clean my room. I rearranged my room uh, and I've got so much extra stuff that I don't think that I want to get rid of, but I don't have anywhere to put anything. I have one closet in the place, well, two if you count the kitchen, one, but I've got, you know, my food and garbage can and stuff in there and that, and some of my bowls and things that, like, mixing bowls and stuff that I never use, but um, I'm looking for a bigger toaster oven. The one that I have, if I make cookies in it, you can't raise or lower the rack in it, so it's kind of small, so, um, and when I make biscuits in it, the other one that I had that broke 
uh, was perfect to make cake or cookies or, I mean, you can only make a few at a time because it's a toaster oven, right? But um, they end up burning. You know, you have to take them out. If you don't watch them, then, you know, you burn the stuff. I've been wanting to make a pot of chili. I love, love chili. So I got a couple cans of chili. One of them I ended up, luckily I had bought hot dogs at the store and some buns. And I ended up, what I do is I open the bun and I cut the hot dog down the middle and I open it up and lay it on there. Well, I usually cook two at a time. And then I put cheese and onions on it and mustard. And then I put the chili over top of that. And it's just that, you know, generic chili. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, I forget what brand it is. I got it at the Family Dollar store, I think. I shop at Family Dollar and Dollar General a lot. I don't like to go to the grocery store because the Kroger's near me. I don't like it. Um, I don't... I just don't like it. Uh, it's not like a super Kroger's. And David was telling me today that I should go farther on down towards Covington on Dixie Highway. That that one down there is nice. And I forgot about it. Um, I don't want to go to Independence where I used to go all the time. I really like that store. Um, but I don't want to go all the way over there. Um, and I don't want to go to Mall Road because that's always... I mean, that's a nice Kroger's there. But gosh, oh... It's, there's like a strip of stores and no, born, the Barnes and Nobles and Alta is next to the Kroger's and then Five Below and there's just all kinds of stores there. And so it's always like really super busy. Um, so I don't like to really go over there. But anyway, I just thought I'd jump on here. I thought, well, I got a Dollar Tree haul going on here. So I'm going to have to do a video when I get home and the cat just is shaking the camera because what I do is I have a tripod I think I told you this once before I have a I could sit a little bit closer to yeah I don't have any makeup on today um I've got a tripod that the top part broke off so what I did was I took one of my Dollar Tree uh selfie sticks and I took some hair tie things and I wrapped it around the pole and around the stick and I've got that's how you're getting this video. That's how I'm filming. You know, you have to like rig things together to do things. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, DIY. So anyway, um, the sun is going down. This, oh, I got some pictures of the uh, clouds are really crazy today. Um, we've had some rain and it's like 50 degrees now. And like I said, yesterday it got into the 40s. Um... And it's probably 40 something now. Um, but um 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 <laughs> the day before it was in the it got down in the teens, like 16 at night, and in the morning when I was going to work, it was in the teens. Um, um and then it didn't get any it got like to 30 during the day. Um, so anyway, now, two days later, it's like 50 today, but it was rainy and the sun did come out a little bit. It's underneath the clouds. It's like the clouds have got a line and they're really crazy looking up here. But then underneath that line is, um, clear skies. <laughs> it's really wicked looking. If I knew how to put pictures in here, I'd put some pictures in here, but I don't know how to do that. And I don't have any internet right now, so I can't get on my laptop to do that, so. But anywho, I'm glad that you stopped by. I am really glad to see you. And, um, I just wanted to come on here because, like, it's been, what, two or three weeks since I've done a video. I'm really sorry about that. I just don't know... Like I say, I don't have a perfectly clean house. It's not disgusting, but it's messy. And my backgrounds aren't very pretty. Like if I like if I turned around here where the windows would be completely in front of me, then you'd see all my stack of stuff and cluttered here and there, you know, over there. Same thing with my bedroom. Um, yeah, pretty much anywhere. Well, I guess I could pull the addition uh, door closed. I need to paint that. I don't, it's dark and I don't really like it. 
so I need to paint it some color, but it's up against that on my orange wall, which I'd rather have the orange wall behind me, but I don't have anything over there. I have a chair, two chairs there, but um, the light would be on the side of me like it is now, so I, you know, I'm not doing it. I don't know. I've got to figure out a space, and I've got to start um, filming regular. I'd like to start visiting with y'all on a regular basis, and here comes the cat again. Margo, what are you doing, kitty? He is having a blast with that puppy dog over there in his bed. He's actually in the bed I bought him for Christmas. It's an awesome bed. Um, let me show it to you. $15 at the Ross store. And he won't sleep in it. He has to sleep with me. But it's a very, very nice bed and comfy. But um, like I say, he's got to sleep with me. And he's got to lay up here on the couch with me. So I was giving him some treats and trying to get him, you know, go night-night or, you know, go to bed. And it didn't really work. So, so I quit doing that. Ah, 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 don't you tear it up. So, anyway, all right, Margo's messing here, and so I am going to get off of here and let y'all go, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. It is 5.45 here p.m. on Friday. I'm off today, and I'm off tomorrow, and actually I was off yesterday, too, but I had some things to do about the electric. So, anyway, um, I guess that's it. And I will let y'all go. And like I said, thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And welcome if you're new. And hey to my old girls, uh, Elizabeth and Carrie. And um, oh, I can't remember everybody. But uh, I'm glad that you stopped by. Come back and visit with me some more. And hey, leave a comment. Like I said, I like to chit-chat with you. And let me know what's up in your area. And what you've been up to. What are you eating? What are you cooking? You got any good recipes? What have you been watching on TV? Anything good? Um, I watched The Witcher. And that was good. Uh, on Netflix. Um, I don't know of anything else, really. I just mainly been watching YouTube. Uh, watching some videos. The Hillbillies. And... Um, Around the House with Randy and Vaughn. Uh, let's see. Those are the only ones that come to mind right now. Uh, it, at the House with Randy and Vaughn, if that's the name of it. But it's Randy and Vaughn. They do a lot of um, challenges. Uh, and they do magnet fishing. Um, they went to Martin's Fork Lake where I did a video uh, at Martin's Fork Lake. Like, I've got horns sticking out here. Anyway... But anyway, um, check them out, and like I said, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and come back and visit with me, and hey, I'm so glad you stopped by, and I'm so glad to see you, and I'll try to get back on here more, and let's chit-chat in the comments, and I will talk to you next time, and hey, don't forget to spread a little sunshine, bye.